Hey, today I'm talking about three Norwegian language films that were released in the last decade. And the names of those three films are In Order of Disappearance, Troll Hunter, and Max Manus. Our first up is In Order of Disappearance. This is a 2014 film starring Stellan Skarsgård, and it took me about 20 minutes to realize that I have seen the remake of this movie. It is the 2019 Liam Neeson film Cold Pursuit, also directed by the same guy. So the basic premise of both films is there is this man who plows snow and just got the award for person of the year. He's a really nice guy. But then one day his son gets murdered by the mafia. And so he snaps and then kills the entire mafia. And it's pretty good, both of them. It's it's hard to say which one I like more because it's been three years since I've watched Cold Pursuit. When that movie came out, I hadn't yet invented the quite liked category, but had I, it would have been in the quite liked, which is where In Order of Disappearance is. So just from vague memory, they're probably roughly the same quality. I mean, again, they are directed by the same director, so. I did enjoy this movie, a good solid amount. I liked the kills a lot, I liked the premise a lot, that was a lot of fun. Stellan does great as always. Where this movie kind of lost me a little bit, it felt a little long, I felt like there was just a little too much time in between kills, and it kind of felt like it came to a complete stop at the beginning of the second half of the second act, where it kind of switched focus away from Stellan's character. It was sort of slowing down to that point, but then it just kind of like Stop, stopped. Because I didn't super care about like the drama of the mafia. I don't know. It kind of feels like they could have cut out like 10 to 20 minutes. It also would have been nice too if they would have had a little bit more time of us like seeing Stellan's character be a good person before the snap. I still liked it though. It's in the quite like. I think it's still worth a watch. I don't know between the two films which one I would recommend more so. Honestly, I'd bring it down to just like, do you want to watch Liam Neeson for two hours or do you want to watch Stellan Skarsgård for two hours? Both are good options. So it's really up to you. The next up is... Troll Hunter. This is a 2010 film that's basically like a found footage film. So the premise is that this group of teenagers are investigating some poachers going after some bears, but then they discover that trolls exist. So they follow this troll hunter around. And it's pretty solid. I like the premise a lot. I also like the look of the movie, especially the design of the trolls, because they made the trolls look like, well, historically accurate trolls, you know, with like big noses and stuff, but done in like a realistic way. Like it looks good. They look good. And the special effects honestly hold up for the most part. Like there's a couple times where it's like, okay, stand out a little bit, but all in all, it's really not bad. The effects. I did get a bit sleepy while watching this movie, and I think that just stems from like, it's a found footage documentary type of thing. So like there's lots of lull moments. And it felt like there's just a little too many of those lulls, and that's why I got sleepy. So just lots of moments of silence. So like they easily could have cut out like eh, 10 minutes, and it would have helped the pacing a bit. Or they could have like filled that void with more character development, especially with the students, because all of the students really don't get developed. Really, it's just the troll hunter who gets developed. Especially like they bring in a second camera person eventually and they kind of set them up as an interesting person, but then they don't do anything with them. Also, I think it would have been better. So like they had an interview person, a sound person, and a camera operator, and then eventually a second camera operator. But it felt like they really didn't need the sound person because they really didn't do anything interesting with sound. Like they easily could have just had like shotgun mics on top of the cameras and that would have solved their sound issue. Would have been probably the exact same. Same. And then they could have had just two camera operators for the entire movie instead of what happened. But yeah, I don't know. That's kind of more of a nitpicky thing. I did still enjoy this movie, put in the quite liked, and I would totally recommend it. It really wasn't scary, so don't go into it thinking it's gonna be like spooky. It's just a good solid little movie with some neat looking trolls. And lastly is. Max Manus. This is a 2008 film and it is based on real events. Max Manus was a soldier during World War II who killed a lot of Germans. And it's pretty good, though I feel like this film kind of assumes you have like 
an idea of who this person is and their accomplishments and like the tertiary characters, like just passing knowledge of their existence. I was kind of a little bored-ish. I don't know if bored's the right word. It was interesting seeing World War II from another country's perspective because you know most of the World War II films that we have are either from the American perspective or the British perspective and like it's really cool to see war films from any of the other countries that were involved. Like I watched a World War I film last year or two years ago that was from Australia's perspective and that was super super interesting. So even though I'm kind of done with World War II films in general, I still appreciate seeing the war from other countries' perspectives. But yeah, I liked it. I thought it was fine. I don't know. I can't really put into words exactly what I didn't super care for about the movie. Maybe because I'm not Norwegian or like I don't really know a lot of the history around this stuff that that's why I didn't super into it. Though I would recommend it if you're super into like World War II stuff. Then this movie would 100% be up your alley. Or if you just really like war films, because this is a pretty solid war film. I'm just not either of those things, so that's kind of why it didn't land perfectly for me. But I did still enjoy it. I liked it. It was fine. Alrighty, now for today's rankings. First up, we got In Order of Disappearance in number 89 in the Quite Like section. And then not too terribly far behind is Troll Hunters in number 92, also in the Quite Like section. And then bringing up the rear, again, not that far behind, is Max Mana sitting at number 116 in the Like section. And this is at a total of 183 old movies so far this year.